beautifully human. The name came along to us, it just hit us. We thought we're humans, we all want to feel like humans. You know, sometimes the homeless people, they, they kind of tend to feel like they're not part of a community, which, you know, they, they are part of the community. And they want to feel like humans. They want to have the interaction that normal people have. When you walk by someone, you know, you say hi, you say good morning, all those things. So that's kind of how it, how it got started with Tyler and myself. We would come walk the streets like every other weekend just to, you know, talk to the people on the streets, take pictures because we're pretty big into, into the street photography. I use Instagram a lot and I post up my pictures. I try to get, you know, the, the raw and uncut pictures where, you know, people see something and it impacts them and they want to be part of the movement. So I end up putting out posts and people just ask about it and how they can help and, you know, I invite them out and that's how I get people to come out here. Um, I started doing this when I joined a, a local photo walk. It was basically a hunt that we had to do and do different things. One of them was to just talk to a random person. So while I was doing, you know, the photo walk, I ended up coming across a homeless person and I figured I'd just go talk to him to, you know, to get the points for that. It ended up becoming more than just a game because, you know, as I spoke to him more, I got more involved into, you know, his life, what, it, what it's like to live as a homeless. And I just got into conversation with him. And then after talking to him, I figured I, you know, wanted to make a difference and try and help out as many people as I could. Having a friend on the streets, it's kind of odd, it's unique. Not, not everybody out on the streets is, you know, dangerous to you or they're into things that they shouldn't be. I mean, of course there's going to be people with problems out on the streets and that are, you know, doing drugs, maybe alcohol abuse and all kinds of things, but not all of them are like that. Sometimes people are put into circumstances where they really can't get out of it. And I think that's, that's what's really moved me to try and help people. I don't take it to an extreme level. I see it more as something that I can do when I have the time for it. I don't want it to take over, you know, any of my goals, but I do want to make a difference. So I don't want to see it as a job, a business, or even as a nonprofit that it's something I'm, you know, totally focused on because I don't want my motives to change. I want it to be something that, hey, I want to go do this. I have the time, let's go out and do it.